This is dry ice versus a bowl of water. Really? This is pouring, instead of putting that dry ice in the water, it's just putting water on the dry ice. And it is just sitting there, not doing really anything. This is what eventually happened to the water. It froze into a little bowl in that little divot in the dry ice. This is strawberry versus dry ice. Not really doing anything yet, probably just freezing. Um, I'm gonna sit there for a while. Now we're pushing on the strawberry, just make sure it gets a good dose of um, dry ice. Okay, and we just took it out and it looks frozen-ish. And it's pretty much solid. And um, that's what happens when you put dry ice with a strawberry. This is what happens when you put a balloon on dry ice. Um, nothing really happened. Still, um, not still bouncy like a regular balloon. Um, not really doing anything. So this is what happens if a Swedish fish on to dry ice. Now we're going to smash the Swedish fish when it's been after it's been in the dry ice. Just like glass. This is what happens when you get a hammer and put it on dry ice. It's hand sanitizer on dry ice. Put a little bit in the hole and put a little bit like this. It looks like it's boiling, I guess. I'm not really sure. I think it's freezing and the dry ice is coming through the um, hand sanitizer. Now let's see what it has done. It hasn't froze, it just got thicker. It's starting to get clumpier. I'm starting to get a little bit clumpier after spilling dry ice for a while. And the hand sanitizer is still what I think it's boiling. Um on some of the early um, pores and it is pretty chunky it's starting to get more jelly and chunky but it's not freezing solid Okay, now we're doing toothpaste versus dry ice. And it is sliding off. Get a hole there. 
There we go. It's not really wanting to stick to the dryers, it's more of us sitting on it and maybe sliding right off. Flip this over. Look, it looks like it's freezing a little bit. And it is outside looks a little bit lighter in color. And it's frozen a little bit. We're checking back in on the toothpaste, and oh, it's solid. It's pretty solid now. And I'm just, yeah, pretty solid. Okay, now we're gonna do cold water versus hot water with the dry ice in it. This is four cups of hot water. happens when you get four cups of cold water versus the same size chunk of dry ice. This is a much less violent reaction than the um than, than the hot water. This is dry ice versus vanilla. And the reason why I'm choosing vanilla is because it has a, it has a lot of um 3% alcohol. Now let's see what happened to the to the vanilla. It looks pretty oh, okay. It's a bowl of very easily mushed vanilla. And it's pretty much not freezing, even though this is 109.3 degrees below zero. And nothing will nothing really stick to the eyes, it just really folds on top and just like sloshes around. Such a madness. This is what happens when you put apple cider, apple cider vinegar on dry ice. Whoa! <laughs> Likes to roll off, I guess. And it smells pretty um weird. Anyways. Now the apple vinegar has made stuff a little cup like all the other fluids and is now freezing inside of the cup. Now, now it's more like apple cider ice cream. This is what happens when you put um, peanut oil on dry ice. Starting to freeze it a little bit. Must be very chunky. This is dry ice versus a really hot pan. And all it's doing is steaming faster. Not really anything interesting. 